Hi, let us start with circular cylindrical coordinate system. If you consider circular cylindrical coordinate system, it consists of three coordinate surfaces. First one, a right circular cylinder having Z axis as common axis, then half plane through Z axis and plane parallel to XY plane. Okay, now the first coordinate surface is a right circular cylinder having Z axis as common axis. So it is shown in the figure as the cylinder. cylinder So that cylinder radius on a row. And that row is equal to root of x square plus y square. So that row is equal to constant forms, the first coordinate surface. Then another coordinate, second coordinate surface is a plane through Z axis. So this Z axis will pass in the E plane. So Z will pass in the half plane. Half plane on the second case. And the a plane number defines in with this angle. And that plane makes phi angle with respect to X axis. Okay. And phi will be equal to tan inverse Y by X. Then the third is a plane parallel to XY plane. This XY plane is parallel air plane, just like in the Cartesian system. Cartesian system is one of the coordinate surfaces, plane parallel to XY plane. Another, another one is plane parallel to YZ plane. Then XZ plane is parallel air plane. There are more coordinate surfaces. This is the other surface. On the XY plane is parallel air surface. And that equation is Z is equal to a constant. Now, a point in in cylindrical coordinate system is specified by three coordinates rho, phi, and z. So in the general co general coordinate system, curvilinear the system, we have coordinates u1, u2, u3, and here u1, u2, u3 are rho, phi, and z. Now certain books, in some books they use r theta z for cylindrical coordinate but here rho is used because rho is the perpendicular distance from the z axis z axis is making in the perpendicular distance on a rho and we, but the letter r represents the distance from the origin origin and distance position vector represent the american number r you see yeah? so r Original distance. Now, phi n is the azimuth angle. Theta n is the polar angle. Define so, always it is, used, it is better to use this convention that is rho phi z n or in the convention you see. This convention we use. Okay. Now, if you consider the rho, the limits of rho will be rho and a to minimum value 0. 0 will start here. So, 0 less than then it can go up to infinity not equal to infinity so just give it up to infinity where I wrong the limit now what will be the limits of phi phi can be from 0 phi 0 on start then it's uh, 0 up to 360 360 2 pi where I power. so phi varies from 0 to 360 Degrees so or better to it is better to use the definition 2 pi. Radial number and 2 pi. Then z z infinity to infinity bow. So z can start from minus infinity and it can go up to infinity. So these are the limits of rho phi and z. Now when rho is equal to zero, rho zero ombo phi will not be defined. Phi is not well defined. Dira, we can write down the transformation equation from cylindrical coordinate system to Cartesian coordinate system. So this is our Cartesian coordinate system, x, y, z coordinate system and cylindrical system is also shown for a point P. So if you consider point P, we have rho, phi and z as cylindrical coordinate, x, y, z as Cartesian coordinate. Now, this point in point delay kula, z axis in the perpendicular distance in the number rho it is okay. So, if you consider cos phi here, cos phi will be adjacent side by hypotenuse. 
so this x this side will be equal to rho cos phi rho cos phi and this this side will be equal to now this is phi so this is the opposite side so y is equal so this is sin phi rho sin phi because sin phi will be equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so this is rho sin phi now this x this adhes thana ivada ee yan ipo idu nammal ivada projection ingane ingotte consider eda vera so this is y so y is equal to thana ivada y nu edi actually ivada yana y component vera this distance is y so that y is here so x is equal to rho cos phi nu kitti rho cos phi and y is equal to rho sin phi so from the figure x is equal to rho cos phi and y is equal to rho sin phi and z is equal to z okay now if you square and add these two equation then x square plus y square is equal to rho square so rho is equal to root of x square plus y square and if you divide equation 2 with 1 y by x then you get y by x is equal to tan phi or phi is equal to arc tan y by x or tan inverse tan inverse y by x so this is a transformation equation rho rho and in terms of x and y transformation equation another this is also transformation equation so these are the transformation equation z is equal to z so transform we can find out the scale factors in this coordinate system so we have the transformation equation x is equal to rho cos phi y is equal to rho sin phi and z is equal to z now the arc length ds square is equal to dx square the arc length is ds so ds square will be equal to dx square plus dy square plus dz square so let us evaluate dx then dx will be equal to derivative of rho into derivative of cos phi derivative of cos phi is equal to sin phi d phi minus sin and down plus derivative of rho so cos phi into d rho derivative of rho is d rho now dy will be equal to derivative of this term so rho into sin derivative of sin phi derivative of sin phi is cos phi d phi plus sin phi into derivative of rho so sin phi into d rho and dz will be equal to dz if you find out d square then d square will be d x square plus d y square plus d z square so that is equal to minus rho sin phi d phi plus cos phi d rho whole square plus d y square that is rho cos phi d phi plus sin phi d rho whole square plus d z square now this will be equal to rho square sin square phi d phi square plus cos square phi d phi square minus minus 2 rho sin phi cos phi d phi d rho plus now this term that will be equal to rho square cos square phi d phi square plus sin square phi d rho square plus 2 rho cos phi sin phi d phi d rho plus d z square now if you see these two terms this is 2 rho cos phi sin phi d rho d phi this is minus 2 of that term so these two can be cancelled and if you combine these two terms then cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1 so from here you will get d rho square plus here also cos square phi plus sin square phi will be 1 if you take rho square d phi square from these two terms common 
so here the terms remaining will be rho square d phi square plus now here dz square so this is equal to our rhs is dx square plus dy square plus dz square now in orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system we have d square is equal to h1 square du1 square plus h2 square du2 square plus h3 square du3 square and here we have u1 is equal to rho u2 is equal to phi and u3 is equal to z so this equation will take a form h1 square d rho square plus h2 square d phi square plus h3 square dz square and if you compare these two equations then we get that h1 square is equal to h1 square is equal to the coefficient of d rho square d rho square is 1 so our result is h1 square is equal to 1 and h2 square is equal to h2 square is coefficient of d phi square coefficient of d phi square is rho square and h3 square is equal to 1 h3 square dz square na coefficient dz square na coefficient 1 na so the result is we got h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to rho and h3 is equal to 1 in cylindrical coordinate system now using h1 h2 h3 and u1 u2 u3 now we can express the gradient divergence and curl in cylindrical coordinate system now we have in curvilinear coordinate system the gradient of a scalar function phi del phi is equal to 1 by h1 dou phi by dou u1 plus 1 by h2 dou phi by dou u2 plus 1 by h3 dou phi by dou u3 and now in cylindrical coordinate system we have the equation the u1 is equal to rho u2 is equal to phi and u3 is equal to z and h1 is equal to 1 h2 is equal to rho h3 is equal to 1 so if you substitute these values here then del phi in cylindrical coordinates will be equal to 1 by h1 will be 1 then dou phi by dou u1 will be dou phi by dou rho plus 1 by h2 will be 1 by rho dou by dou phi then dou by dou phi now actually if we do phi by dou phi we cancel here because this phi is the general system we have to general dou psi by dou psi define here we have dou psi by dou phi gradient of psi plus 1 by h3 1 varum then dou psi by dou z so this is the expression for del gradient of psi in in cylindrical coordinate system there is a correction gradient of a scalar should be a vector so actually if you vector e equation le vector formula varanam so ivada namukku e1 cap undavu ivada e2 cap undavu ivada e3 cap undavu so ningal correction e correction varutha then ningal cylindrical coordinate system equation ezhuthi kanya corresponding to e1 cap you will have rho cap corresponding to e2 cap you have phi cap and corresponding to e3 cap you have z cap so when i write an equation i write so these terms consider them are my rho cap as well as phi cap z cap so gradient in actual equation is this del psi is equal to rho cap into dou psi by dou rho plus phi cap by rho into dou psi by dou phi plus z cap into dou psi by dou z okay now we can write down what is the expression for curl in cylindrical coordinate system now cylindrical coordinate system sorry not curl first number divergence sorry in cylindrical coordinate system or in, in general curvilinear coordinate system the divergence is is given by del dot ti is equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 dou by dou u1 of h2 h3 a1 dou by dou u2 of h3 h1 a2 dou by dou u3 of h1 h2 a3 and now we have here the values of u1 u2 u3 and h1 h2 h3 are shown here now if you substitute those values then del dot a will be equal to 1 by rho 1 into rho into 1 by 1 by rho into 
dou by dou u1 will take dou by dou rho of h2 is rho so rho a1 so a1 na namaku a rho nu name cheya so my my vector a will be equal to a is equal to a rho rho cap plus a phi phi cap plus a z z cap ingena nammal ivide vectors edukkunnathu plus dou by dou u2 that is dou by dou phi of h3 h1 will be h1 um 1 aanu h3 um 1 aanu so 1 into a2 a2 is a phi dou a phi by dou phi plus dou by dou z of rho into h2 rho varum rho into a3 a3 is a z so this is the the form of divergence in circular cylindrical coordinate system and now gradient will be sorry now the curl will be equal to in circular cylindrical coordinate system del cos a will be equal to 1 by h1 h2 h3 will take 1 by rho then this will be this is e1 cap e2 cap and e3 cap h1 is 1 so e1 cap in pagara namku vanengil e rho nu eludam e rho then h2 h2 is rho rho into e phi cap plus h3 1 aanu so e z cap e z cap then dou by dou dou rho dou by dou phi dou by dou z varum u1 u2 u3 rho phi z irukum then h1 into a1 so h1 is 1 so a1 nu varum namaku a rho denote cheya ivada rho into a phi varum ivada a z undavu okay so this will be the form of del cross a in cylindrical coordinate system 